Hey everybody, how are you? So yeah, it's been one of those um, fa phases where I don't feel like making videos, you know, and so it's been a few days in between. <clears throat> so um, I thought what I would do for this one, since I really am uh, busy with some other stuff right now, uh, art and music related, um, I'll do a video called Derek's Playlist. Um, last night I did spend the evening interacting online and playing records and I'll show you what I played as well as what's sitting out that maybe I didn't play but I was going to or was just talking about. Um, in the background I'm playing Curved Air North Star. This is a brand new album by the band Curved Air. Um, I'm listening to it online since I'm not um, in pocket to get a physical copy. I think it's excellent. I'm gonna go to the second song, Time Games. I gotta keep it down low because of copyright, but. Conversations with people uh, besides moods can stimulate um, what we listen to. And um, John Coltrane 68, who hasn't been making any videos, and he says he's not interested right now, and that's fine, you know, that's really cool. But interacting a lot online, Chris um, mentioned some um, lesser known uh, female jazz artists and uh, I had some of them so I pulled them and um, I didn't play this last night but I pulled it. Jerry Allen Trio, The Printmakers, um, Dave Cotter uh, has this on vinyl. If you happen to see this Dave, hey. The VC has some amazing people uh, in it. With such deep knowledge of music it's just fantastic you know I just think of like thinking of Dave Cotter made me think of that and then I think of Scott Mays and Chris Cole and uh, Dave Wayne and just all these people you know everyone in them amazing John Mac McRae who turned let me know about this new curved air it's it's really good it's got that classic that classic sound The drummer is an original member of Curb Dare, the current one is. So there's two original members in the band. Yeah, that's that sound. I'm glad that they're back at it. So some records I played. Jessica Jennifer Williams, Orgonomic Music. <clears throat> Pianist, badass, this woman. With Eddie Henderson, among others, on this set. She'll break off into things that are close to like Cecil Taylor, or and also she has technique reminiscent of Oscar Peterson. Really good, real good compositions too. Organomic music. This came out in 80, 1981. It's a small label, Clean Cuts. Really good. Vibing with Roger Coleman. Hey Roger. Um, listened to this last night. McCoy Tyner, Fly with the Wind. Again, this is really excellent. And yet at the same time, you know, it's interesting. We've got Billy Cobham on drums. And Billy Cobham's style is, is not a mismatch, but it's, you can tell that McCoy doesn't work with a type, a Billy Cobham type of drummer in general. So it's inter interesting to hear them make it work, and it does. <clears throat> Didn't play this, but it turns out I found out from a, a fellow musician, Craig B, who's in Indrema, that the bass player from It's a Beautiful Day, Mitch Holman, has moved to Omaha, that he lives here, and that he met him recently. So I'm going to endeavor to meet Mitch um, here soon. But um, It's a Beautiful Day is a classic album, period. It is. And you've probably heard it and don't even realize it. White Bird. Fantastic. Really enjoyed this last night. Animal Collective, Sung Tongs. I've had this for a long time and haven't played it for a long time. And last night, I played side one and two all the way through. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I saw these guys live years ago. And um, just never really played this one much. You know, this is how I got... Who, who could win a rabbit was how I found out about the band. Um, you know, finding their video online. This is really good. 
some more McCoy Tyner. These are sitting out. I didn't play them, but um, Song of the New World, uh, Greatest Moments with McCoy Tyner on Impulse, Sahara. Song McCoy Tyner back in the 70s. I had recorded it, uh, but the tape got stolen. And Focal Point by McCoy Tyner. Excellent. Fo used to play with Coltrane. Just deep. This morning, before I went out for a business meeting uh, on an upcoming art collaboration, I played Super Sister, present from Nancy, Dutch band. Dutch Canterbury, Dutch um, Soft Machine, whatever you want to say about them, excellent album. Robert Yan Stips, yeah. Had this out, haven't played it yet. Coliseum, Daughter of Time. Uh, Steve Dar was showing he had just uh, found a white label promo copy of this at a record fair, so I showed mine too. I, it's not a white label, but it's a great album. One of the other unsung women in jazz, Michelle Rosewoman, Quintessence. Uh, Terry Lynn Carrington too, well, she's known. This is killer. This, this is a beast, as I was saying online. This, she lays it down here, seriously. You like jazz? Michelle Rosewoman. Seriously. Listen to this last night. Kim Robertson, the harpist. Moonrise. <clears throat> it has that new age look, doesn't it? It's beautiful music. Just beautiful instrumental music. Absolutely gorgeous. Another McCoy Tyner I had that I love. Time for Tyner. Really like this one with Bobby Hutcherson on this one. On Blue Note. Played this last night all the way through. I've had it for a while. It's one of those records I bought. Played it and then filed it. Hank Roberts, Black Pastels. On... Um, JMT Productions, fantastic album. Uh, with Tim Byrne, Robin Eubanks, Bill Frizzell, Mark Dresser, Joey Barron. This is killer. Seriously excellent jazz. Seriously excellent with electronics and then vocals on some tracks. This is just really good modern jazz. Really good. I was surprised. It's like, geez. I was sitting in the on the shelves too long. Same with this one, Sonic Youth, Hit the for Squares, <clears throat> where other artists were told, were asked to choose a Sonic Youth song to include on here. Good, a good um, representation of the band. I understand there's a, yeah, the Slow Revolution is a, an exclusive song to this album. Got turned on to place to Bury Strangers. Um, and uh, got bought this album, Worship. Revenge is the song I really like on here, but I like this. You know, you know, Jesus and Mary Chain, when they first started out, dealt with a lot of white noise. And so that's kind of what this band, I get that part of the Jesus and Mary Chain white noise sound that this band picked up on. This is good. Listen to In Absentia last night by Porcupine Tree. I listen to the whole thing. They're just that kind of band for me. If I, when I when I fall into Porcupine Tree, I just really go deep because I just love the sound. It really has a lot to do with the sound, also the compositions. I love Steve Wilson's, like Todd Rundgren. They have a chordal, they kind of have a chordal um, bias or <clears throat> approach that I don't know what the mode is, but I like it. It's it's a particular flavor of chords and song shapes that Steve Wilson is drawn to. I'm drawn to. I love it. Really like this album a lot. Played a lot of this last night. Japan, Exercising Ghosts. And this was what led to Porcupine Tree. Uh, literally. I discovered Stephen Wilson through collecting Japan. David Sylvian, Richard Barbieri, and Steve Jansen. Because I <clears throat> respect and love their sound so much. Tin Drum a mind-blowing album. There's nothing else sounds like it. And so I started to follow Jansen Barbieri in particular. I have a bunch of their stuff on CD. And that's where I became familiar with the name Steve Wilson. First I heard No Man and then Porcupine Tree. But this is how I met them or discovered them, the band Japan. 
I played most of this yesterday, tomorrow. <clears throat> Early psych band that included Steve Howe, who is best known for being in Yes. Really good album. Really excellent. Tatsuya Nakatani, Nakatani Gong, Gong Orchestra. You can't really see the graphics there, but Tatsuya Nakatani is a dynamic percussionist who travels and performs um, constantly. He has a, he works with uh, all kinds of percussion, but he has a, this big collection of huge gongs that he travels with. He does workshops, teaches people how to play the gongs, and then does a concert. I had the great pleasure of doing the gong orchestra two years ago here in Omaha, being a member of it for a performance. Learned a lot at the workshop. This is on Taiga, gold vinyl. This music is best experienced live, but it's captured here. This music is, is the sound, I should say, is, is as much a meditation as it is anything else. Played this yesterday all the way through. Pete Barden's Speed of Light. Pete Barden's first came to um, my attention in the 60s as a member of Them with Van Morrison. And then he was in the band Camel. He's passed away, but this was um, <clears throat> Capitol Records started a label called Cinema, trying to cash in on the um, new wave instrumental um, thing that happened in the 80s. And they put out a couple of albums. This is very good. I also remember this because um, VH1 New Visions, their um, video show which was kind of a sister to MTV's 120 Minutes, would show the video for Gold, the song Gold off this album. I like this album. Kind of tries to play like Jan Hammer to, on this album when he plays solos on the synthesizer, getting a guitar sound. I was listening to Scott Walker. I put it away. See, I put records away. Did I put it away? It's still down here. Yeah. River uh, River uh, Cool Ranch Dressing, who's still online a lot um, on Facebook, showed that he was listening to this. He has a Japanese original of this. This is a Four Men with Beards repress, but Scott 3 by Scott Walker. Fantastic album. And one of the songs on it is 30th Century Man. So I played uh, this um, Catherine Wills cover, which I like even better. I like their version of Scott Walker's song better than his. Excellent. And this is my signed copy. Love the band Catherine Will. Recently played this. Deer, Herf, Deer Hoof vs. Evil. One that I bought and didn't really pay much attention to. This is softer compared to most of their albums. Beautiful. Wonderful album. Really not second rate at all. Just not as bombastic as a lot of their albums. Played some of this, First Brass, because I had pulled an Alan Bochinsky album earlier in the week, who's a trumpeter from uh, Holland, I believe, yeah. And it turned out that I had this album that he plays on as well, First Brass. And this is some jazz, mostly jazz standards, Lady in Blue. Uh, not standard, but that type of sound. This is This is nice. A bit of Hawkwind this weekend. Masters of the Universe. I was playing this one. And I had some more Hawkwind out. Isn't he still have it out? Put records away too quickly. I was playing um, Hall of the Mountain Grill as well. I love Hawkwind. I love that band. Heiner Goebbels and Alfred Harth. Again, uh, musicians who will work in free jazz, improvisation, avant-garde and yet I they don't seem to be as widely um, recognized I don't hear other people talk about these guys and I think they're incredible homage via Faust für Hans Eisler excellent 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 um, um, cut, cutting edge I don't know what to say this is just excellent on free music production, no less. And then I had uh, this series out. 
and played most of these. Um, I don't have the whole series, but it's um, the Rubble collection of uh, Freak Beat singles from the 60s, mainly. The pictures in the sky. Rubble number nine. This is number nine. Bands like uh, Dragonfly, Les Baroques, even Super Sister has a song on here. Um, Wimple Winch. This one, the Psychedelic Snarl. Yeah, Wimple Winch, The Misunderstood, The Open Mind. Great stuff. And uh, number eight, All the Colors of Darkness. I played quite a bit of these. Here's that Alan Bochinski I was mentioning that I pulled and played, and this is very good. It's a mixture of people from Holland and Sweden, plus uh, American drummer who's originally from Omaha, Victor Lewis on drums. His nephew is Roger Lewis, who has been been a mainstay of Saddle Creek Records forever on drums, with everyone from Neva Denova to The Good Life. This is really good. Great straight ahead jazz. So, and then I, The Associates, The Affectionate Punch, Billy McKenzie. I think I mentioned this, excellent. So that's what's, uh, that's how, how this one will be called, is what's on my uh, playlist, Derek's playlist. There's some other things down here, like I played this about a week ago, but didn't show it. Gray Market Goods, Soldier of Fortune. This is actually Bundy K. Brown, who was in Tortoise and um, Gastro Del Sol. And this is kind of like him play, doing some tur turntable mixing. It's pretty cool. So yeah, bunch of music there for you. I think I've shown everything else down here. Yeah, let me just leap through. And, um, oh, actually I'll show this, Joan Baez from every stage. I actually had this, I was, recently did a photo shoot where they told the, the photographer told me to bring a record to destroy. And I brought this one and thankfully decided not to destroy it and actually played this. I love Joan Baez. I just don't listen, you know, much. Yeah, here's another Hawkwind. Hall of the Mountain Grill. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing records. Oh, here's some more. I, yeah, I knew I had more records I'd played. Dots and Loops. Stereo Lab. This loud, fantastic band. Oh, I love Stereo Lab and this album in particular. Yesterday I played this, Joe Pass, Virtuoso number three. Virtuoso guitarist indeed. Tore up as hell, you can tell he was a he was a junkie. And because I grew up around junk, um, I know what it looks like. And he's high as hell. And yet can play like nobody's business the whole time. Like, you know, if you asked him to change a light bulb, he probably couldn't do that, but play the hell out of that guitar. That's not a diss, that's just kind of a comment on reality. Yeah, pulled this, hadn't played this forever. Stamo Yamashita's East Wind. Freedom is frightening, I'm glad I kept this. This is an original on Island. I'll pull and show this. With Hugh Hopper from Soft Machine on bass and Gary Boyle on guitar. This album is fantastic. It had been a long time since I'd played it. And Wind on wor Wind Words. I was a melancholy favorite when I was younger, because this came out in 73, yeah, and I'd play that in my depression, it was a good depression song, that good old island label. So yeah, I've been playing records, music is always happening here, a lot of times I'll be playing music on the computer, or, or like I said, I've been doing a lot of writing, and ru composing, and experimenting, and improvising, and sampling. So music is always happening. Um, shit, here, another Bill Connors, Step It. You know, cheesy cover, but this guy could play. He was the uh, the original guitarist in Return to Forever. Chick Corea's Return to Forever. And I like him. I like what he does stylistically. It's more to my liking than Al Demiola. Much more to my liking. Okay, I think that's everything down here. Okay, so that's... Derek's playlist for today.